Hi, my name's Andy, and uh, in an earlier video, I talked about the inrush current to this transformer blowing a 500 milliamp fuse. Um, the, uh, the transformer's in a communications receiver, an old Eddystone radio. As radio transformers go, it's, it's quite a beast. Uh, from, uh, from top to bottom there, that's four and a half inches, that's uh, about 114 millimeters. Uh, from end to end, or side to side there, that's uh, three and three quarter inches, so 95 millimeters, and uh, two inches from side to side, uh, so about 50 millimeters, that's the iron core. And uh, when we first uh, switch the radio on, or energize this, we have to magnetize that core and um, I've, I've set up a little demonstration hopefully I haven't run it yet I'm just uh, in the throes of setting it up um, I've got a 2.2 uh, ohm resistor in series with the neutral line um, uh, there's no need for it to be 100 watts it's just the first uh, low value resistor uh, or low ohmic uh, value resistor that I come across. So what I'm going to do is measure the peak current um, that uh, is drawn by the radio when we wake it up. So there's the radio and uh, I'll just put the oscilloscope on and uh, we'll see how we go. I've got the oscilloscope set on uh, 0.2 of a second for the trace because uh, otherwise I may not be able to catch it because of aliasing. Um, I'm on 0.2 volts per division and it's a times one probe. So we'll just uh, zoom in a bit. Haven't done this before, so again you're seeing it live. I'm just going to switch the equipment on. I'll switch it on now. Nothing. And that's because I've got the scope still on ground. Right, see, so, I hadn't done it before, so <laughs> you, you can see that. Okay, I'll just switch it on when the trace is at the beginning. Far too much. I'm turning it to 2 volts per division now. What I'm going to do now is run a series of switch ons. I'll run them in real time, and then after each switch on, I'll run a stream of slow motion video so as you can see the shape of the current. Remember we're looking at the voltage generated across a 2.2 ohm resistor. The oscilloscope is set to display 2 volts per division so that means that each vertical division is uh, equal to 900 milliamps and remember that's 900 milliamps peak so divide that by root 2 each vertical division displayed is equal to 640 milliamps or thereabouts what you'll see is a random nature to the way that the magnetizing current is drawn and that has to do with the moment in time in the main cycle when we actually switch the transformer on and it also has to do with the remnant state of the magnetism in the core that is how we left it whether think of it as the core being charged uh, either um, uh, negative or positive and if we switch on to charge in a, a positive fashion when it was previously left in a negative uh, state then there's a larger inrush current. Uh, for more information on this look up uh, hysteresis and um, what else can you look up? Uh, you can look up the BH loop BH Bravo Hotel and uh, you'll find it, it gets very technical um, but I just wanted to demonstrate the uh, inrush current uh, that occurs and the random nature to it and particularly the fact that uh, in a previous video I switched a piece of equipment on satisfactorily several times 
and then uh, on one occasion it actually blew the fuse and I concluded that that fault was because of the inrush current and not because of a fault on the radio and uh, so that just prompted me to make this little video I hope you find it interesting um, it's a very technical topic but uh, hopefully this will uh, whet your appetite to go and look for more information on uh, the subject Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.